the hairdresser, so I'm gonna trust you. Obviously, I shouldn't have. So today is my mom's birthday, and if you're unaware, yes, that is the chocolate that Rose gave me, but I do not eat candy, and that's like super dark chocolate, so you know. And so I wrapped this present because wrapping is nice. Uh, no, I don't. I'm already downstairs. Oh, are you bringing me a present too? Yes. In the midst of our mess down here. Ooh, chocolates. And they are intense dark. Nice. Yeah. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. I'll take it to work and have it. I like to have a chocolate after lunch sometimes. <gasps> Ooh, look what I got. Did you know she got this for me? Yeah. You did? I'm oh. Jealous. And purple is such a good color on me. Oh, wow. That's cool, Ange. I love it. Cookie conveyor belt. Uh, shout out to you for making the best sandwich ever. Since it's all cold outside, Jack needs a little jacket when he goes on a walk. Otherwise, he, he shivers because he's a small, small bean. Another life update is that my lizard is actually not dead. So that's good. But she's going to die soon enough for a fact. Because I remember when we got her when I was six, the pet worker guy is like, yeah, to live until like, the kids are in college. And it's like, well. Here I am. I get to bust out my green jacket again with silver lining because you know I've got to stay toasty in this cold weather. Life update! Well, we're hitting the road. We're going to get our hair cut. There's a reason I don't ever trust like $11 haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> that reason was like reinsured today. Well, no, your bangs look really good. They didn't cut my bangs. <laughs> I cut them. <laughs> like there's like... Like I was like, what? <laughs> so I'm about to attempt to fix this. This is probably the worst haircut I've ever had in my life. Um, I don't go to the hair cutter that often because I'm afraid of this. Um, I don't know what that lady was doing. First off, they part my hair down the middle and then she started cutting it and I was like, okay, you're the, you're the hairdresser so I'm gonna trust you. Obviously I shouldn't have. So I'm gonna look up a YouTube video on like how to fix your hair. And I'm going to attempt it uh, because I, I cut my own bangs, so I can probably cut my own hair, right? Shout out to my mom for getting me really cool socks. I know, huh? Right? Anyways, time to try and cut my hair. I've watched a few videos and I have a general idea, so I'm pretty sure I'll fix it. I also noticed when I was looking at these videos that, ready, we're going to go straight on. This side is longer than this side. So here's the finished results. Um, it's better than it was. I've never cut hair before, so uh, props to me. Obviously it's not, doesn't look like, it obviously wasn't done by a professional, but yeah. You know what kind of bums me out is that I have had short hair since um, the last day of my junior year of high school, because that's when I donated 12 inches of it. And so I kind of like it shorter, but not like short. So this is like, it was kind of getting like the long short where it's like perfect length that I really liked it at. And now everything is chopped off and it's like really short again. Well, not like really short, but short milkshake she's a real down home gal so i thought you know what i'm gonna just get something absurd Thank you. it is one or, okay it's 12 where you are but you came back and you're eating a piece of bread why because i'm hungry <laughs> okay so i ran again this morning and not only is the altitude still still affecting me but it snowed and there's a ton of ice so i'm like whoa double the challenge but yeah it was good anyway Still, still good. Still gasping for oxygen that isn't there, but yeah. So I accidentally turned my hair into an afro, but... Oh. Look at that dog! Wait, can you even see it? And Dairy Queen with the hoe. Oh, hi! It smells like Christmas in here. Christmas time. Okay, so uh, just a short little fun outing with Hunter because I just love Hunter so much. And so now I'm here at Barnes & Noble to see if I can get my brother something for Christmas because apparently he got me something for Christmas, so if like... That means I gotta get him something, and he's really into like art and drawing and tattoos. So I'm gonna see if I can find something in there. I don't really know. I was here, we're just gonna go for it. So that was not successful at all. I went in there and I was looking around, I'm like, I don't know what to get him. So now I might brave the mall because my dad doesn't need a car until like 4.50 to go to work, and it's like two. So I might brave the mall and get Christmas presents there. Um, I'm gonna try. If there's no parking, I'm just, I'm just gonna go home, but. Why did I think this was a good idea? Cause it's not. 
coming to the mall is probably the worst idea I've ever had. There's so many people here. Well, that was unfortunate. Um, I walked the entire mall, and basically the entire state of Colorado is in Park Meadows, so I didn't buy anybody anything. So I'm just gonna go home, unless I get like a bright idea to go somewhere else and try to find Christmas presents. But right now, I have no idea. Amazon sounds pretty good. So I had this realization earlier, and I'm having it again. I haven't drinking any water since like 10 this morning and then I ran and then I didn't drink any water because I was meeting with Hunter and I need water really badly. I'm gonna drive now. So it's like actually like 50 degrees outside and that's actually pretty warm right now so I had to get off my green sweatshirt and stuff. But anyways I wanted to give a huge shout out to Hunter for my Christmas present. She got me a new camera case and it's like a backpack and this thing is sweet. So Hunter, thank you very much. I love you from the bottom of my heart to the depths of the ocean. So the commentary that I wrote for English um, about cell phone addiction, I just got my grade, I got an 88% on it, so heck yeah. This stuff is so freaking good! Look at this fabulous home cooked meal brought to you by you. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. So apparently my lizard died, I don't know where she is in there, but my brother's super mad about it, but she lived a good life for 12 years. Rip sparkles. 2000... Or to 2016. Hello. Okay. Hi. So it's four in the afternoon. That's okay. <laughs> and what are we doing? We are gonna go get our makeup done with the most fantastic makeup artist that I've ever seen. He does makeup for the Broncos, cheerleaders. I mean, <laughs> of course, not the actual football players. Not the players. He did my makeup for my wedding, which is unfortunate, no longer with us. But and all my bridesmaids, almost all of them. And he's just fantastic. He's really like eccentric. Mm. Not sure if he's gay or straight. I think he might be a little both. Just, just putting that out there. Put that out there. <laughs> he's a tall, skinny, black dude. He's really funny. Ooh. So we're looking forward to this. I am also looking forward to this. I have, a, I have a fresh face. I should have one. I was stupid because I thought we were gonna go to the hardware store. And you never know. You could meet the man of your dreams at the hardware store. That's true. Sorry, Amari, but you could. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to look bad. No. But now we don't have time because it took me too long to get ready. So. Here we are. Look at these chandeliers. Like, I want that in my house. That is goals. Look at this store. Oh, look, there I am. <laughs> I think I'm digging this chandelier even more because it's like, I just, just so glam. And look so, at your makeup, so glam. So glam. Let's see this. I don't know if you can see it or not. I can't. Unfortunately, I was having bad hair with my good makeup, but then Angie helped me out, so I have a good, better hair situation. <laughs> better hair situation. How much do you think one of these goes for? Like $20,000. No, I don't know. And this is what I look like, by the way. She looks gorgeous. Oh, thanks. Okay, they're like individual pieces. It's the same. Don't break it. Don't Ooh. break it. <laughs> don't break it. That. Goodbye, everybody. Ooh. All of these lights are magical. Are. Like, they're really magical. They're so magical. Like, I need a house that looks like this. Just one day. Okay. Exactly. I don't even know what this store's called. It has a name. I'd like to say that these chandeliers are like my favorite. These ones right here. They're really cool. I love it! These lights are also fun. But not as fun as the ones downstairs. Hmm. Exactly. Look at this. This room. I need a room like this in my house. Dear future husband, you better be a doctor. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, that'd be nice though. It would be nice. Totally. It'd totally be nice. Look at this magical Christmas tree. That's it's really huge. Big. It's just so... So magical. <laughs> I love it. Chandeliers are not always down there. But they go all the way up and it's freaking cool. I dig it. Where's, where's Angie you say? There she is. Oh yes. It looks like a, an egg. <laughs> so cool though. Look at that drum kit. This I mean, it's not as cool on camera as it really is, but it's really cool. I really would like to live here. I would also like to live here. Oh, this is fun. I don't want to mess up my messy bun. True. It's like I'm not lean back on the way. I like it. Nice. Look at that chandelier. Such a magical chandelier. It's so pretty. We have this drum kit that, like, I like it. Fun fact, I don't think I've ever told the vlog, if you didn't know vlog. I played the drums for a few years in my life. She did, and she was actually good. Oh, thank you. Too kind. This light is a cool one too. Just like a box. It's more edgy. 
Fifteen. Edgy. Cause we're edgy. Right there. Oh, look at that octopus. Sushi den. Here we are. Sushi den. Extreme close up. <laughs> it's not that extreme. My happy place. So I've been here in a while. Aww. Excited. There is a piece of octopus in there, and I I'm not a fan. Eat it. No. Eat it. No. Life update. Um, still at sushi den. Uh, it had some flippers. I didn't eat the octopus. I did because I'm not about that life. <laughs> I'm also, I also don't eat sushi because I'm also not about that life. I'm not about the fish life. Here we are at the sushi bar, looking at this beautiful fish. And our beautiful chef is making it. <laughs> this is my man Yasu over here. He owns this place. He owns this joint. Look at this goodness. Look at it. We have king salmon. We have crab with caviar. And we have new style saguaro, which is a mackerel, a Spanish mackerel. And oh, <laughs> thank you. A big O roll. Big O. Yes. And a little side of jalapeno for a little spice. So I forgot to capture my meal on film, but here's the sesame chicken. There was some salad there, some potatoes, some rice. Good times. 